everybody, it's Nadia and I'm back at it again with another video. So, as you probably know, guess what's around the corner? Woohoo! Yes, it's the Christmas season. So, we're approaching December, which means that we are going to need some Christmas calendar because Christmas Eve is about to happen and that's exactly what we're going to do in today's video so let's jump into the stuff that we're going to need for the DIY and then we'll hop into the DIY itself before we get into the video make sure to subscribe that you get to be the part of this amazing DIY family here on YouTube make sure to like the video hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on the upcoming DIY projects that are about to happen well so, the drum roll, what are we going to need for this DIY? Sorry, this time it's a bit more things than usual, but I can promise you in the end it's going to be worth it. The first thing that we're going to need is a bunch of fabric. Well, actually, uh, specifically, it's 24 pieces of fabric that is cut out into the size 13 by 36 centimeters, like this. 13, 36. And we're going to do the little baggies from that for the calendar. Then we're going to need some felt fabric for the ears. Since it's a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, we cannot forget about the red nose. So you'll need a bunch of red balls that will represent the red nose. Um, I have a pretty dramatic story about finding those, but if you want to hear those crazy stories of me getting art supplies, make sure to follow me on Instagram so that you know stuff from my daily life. <laughs> we are also going to need some eyes. So you can get those plastic eyes that, um, that are wobbling around. Since our craft stores are currently closed, uh, I cannot get them anywhere, so I just DIY'd myself some eyes from like this gummy thing. Another thing that we're going to need is a bunch of ribbons that are 50 centimeters long and that is for so that you can tie up the bag. And so that you know what day is it, you'll need a bunch of numbers from 1 till 24. It's kind of like from this gum kind of paper or I don't know how to call it properly. Uh, I DIY'd myself some cute numbers. So all you have to do for that is just find some basic template on Google. You just put in numbers template or numbers outline and there will be a bunch of numbers and pictures popping in. Just print it out, cut it out and draw as many numbers on your gum paper as you want and then just do a few strokes with Mod Podge and then make the glitter rain and you have it done and you have these glittery numbers so it's super easy I did a bunch of them from 1 to 24 it just it might be a bit time consuming so if you don't want it glittered then just like cut it out from a paper and you're good to go but I, I thought that the glitter accent is super cute so I glittered mine and this is pretty much it for the DIY part then only two, two more things that you might that you'll need is a hot glue gun and a sewing machine or you can sew by hand but um, I can tell you if you're using the sewing machine it's going to be a lot quicker than just like sewing by hand so make sure if you have one to use one because it's a lot quicker and a lot easier than to sew 24 bags on your own well i think that's it we have all of our stuff so we can get on to the video so to get started with the bags all we have to do is a pin uh, down the top edges to make them nice and neat. You'll prepare the pinning so then it's easier once we sew it and it's not like going all over the place. So we're gonna do that. Then we're going to hop on to the sewing machine. We're gonna sew that down. The same goes for the sides. So then we'll just like flap it over where it will get the sides sewn down and that's it. And then we're going to move to the decorating part. <laughs> All you have to do now is take the top, roll it up nicely and pin it down with your pins. So in the end it's going to look like this. You have the left side and the right side pinned down and nicely rolled in. And we're going to do that with the rest of the fabric and then we can move on to the sewing machine. 
In this part, we'll firstly sew the sides that we have pinned down. Once we have that done, uh, we'll move on to the side. We will fold it over, we will pin it down again so that it's not running all over the place. And then we're firstly going to do a zigzag stitch on the both sides because depending on your fabric, the fabric might fray and in that case it's better to do the zigzag stitch so then you don't have these weird things coming out of the fabric. After you have done the zigzag stitch on both sides, uh, you'll move on to the straight stitch. So first do the zigzag stitch, then do the straight stitch again on the both sides and you are done and you can flip it over and you have that nice little bag. Important part of what we of our DIY is also the ears. What I made myself is I drew myself a template. I'm going to use a white marker to draw the outline because anything else is not suitable on the felt. <laughs> Then it's going to look like this here because it's with white marker and now all we have to do is cut it out and we have in total 48 pieces since we're going to have 24. So I have my first two done and now I'll get myself to work and then we'll be able to assemble. Since we now have all the compartments finished, we can assemble everything together and make the little bags done. For the starters, we are going to glue, hot glue the numbers that we have onto the ribbons and then we're going to hot glue the rest of the stuff onto the bags and we're done! <laughs> numbers finished we can assemble the bag finish off the project the way we're going to do this is first things first we're going to put on the eyes and the nose then we're gonna tie it up and we're gonna put the ears on <music> tie it up we're gonna tie up the bag so turn it all around make it all nice and you can always arrange it somehow so that it's like nice and neat we're gonna do a little bow up there and the last thing that we're missing are the ears, so we'll take one and another one. So we'll take two of our ears and we're gonna make sure that they fit nicely. So we'll take one and don't put it really just on the ends because then you would have too much of the glue and wouldn't be nice. So that's one. That's the second one. And just, a, just a little dollop, you don't need too much. Then you just put it on as it goes. Make sure that it fits nicely. And look at that! We are finished with one out of 24. But look at it! Isn't that the cutest thing? Then don't forget also that it's advent's calendar. So put some, put some goodies in. For example, some sweets. That's always a nice thing to have uh, in a calendar. So yeah, that's our first fifth Rudolph <laughs> and now we're just gonna do a little magic <laughs> and guys as you can see I am finished it took me a decent amount of time I have to say not gonna lie it took quite quite a bit to create but then again you can think about it in the way that this is reusable so you can use it every upcoming Christmas as an advent calendar and you just fill it up with some nice sweets or something like this. Uh, so it saves you a lot of um, work in the long run. And look, it's looking super cute. I have to say it's resembling Rudolph a lot and plus like all of this like cute glittery nose and 
with all of the numbers. I think it's a great way also to kind of decorate the room during the Christmas season with having like some nice advent calendar. So it's a nice way to give this Christmassy touch to any room in the house. Uh, so as you can see, those are little bags. So the way you can do this, you can either get some long string and uh, take pegs and put a uh, yeah and pin them on the string or you can get few branches then hot glue those uh, packs on the on the branch and then like also and put those under the peg the options are limitless but I think with the string it's the easiest I still have to hang mine up guys here you can see the close-up of how it's looking since mine are not displayed yet but have to say all those hours that I've put into me creating this is totally worth it because I can imagine myself using this for years. So guys, if you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on any other upcoming DIYs, hit the notification bell so that you're notified next time amazing DIY is coming up. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram, where I'm posting stories of my daily life and also updates about new upcoming videos. And that is it for today, guys. And I look forward to see you next week. Bye!